But speaking of Harry Potter, I actually pulled up uh, Fantastic Beast 2. Did you see the first Fantastic Beast? Did you like that one? I uh, I was kind of surprised by Fantastic Beast 1. Um, it was entertaining, but not there. There just wasn't the heart like there was with the first one. There wasn't or with Harry Potter. You, you weren't connected to uh, Scalamander. He uh, he's an OK character and Eddie Redmond did a great job playing him. But I, I just felt like they're riding the momentum of uh, the Harry Potter universe, which, you know, I mean, I feel like that's just what WB does. Right. Like they just try to squeeze out every penny they can from every franchise they have. They're doing a terrible job with DC. Um, yeah, I, I believe that was just WB as well. Kong or uh, Godzilla. Kong was amazing. No other competitors to the movie. Oh, that's cool. I, I, uh, I saw the, the old one, the Peter Jackson one and not interested in that at all. And so when this one, the latest one came out, I was like, eh, I don't, I just, they're not, I've never enjoyed them. So I, I, I just kind of skipped past it. But uh, yeah, so this is Fantastic Beasts 2 trailer. Let's pull this up. <clears throat> now, this is after the first movie and Dumbledore is being played by Ewan McGregor. And I've seen some of the trailers for it and I think he does a good job but he just doesn't come across as Dumbledore. Like I know in the, the Harry Potter movies, he's this wise old guy and obviously he's young here and he'll probably be more charismatic and more like playful. Um, but he just doesn't seem like the right choice. I'm scared, Professor Dumbledore. Everyone is scared of something. Ridiculous! Mute? You're up next. That's an unusual one. What Mr. Scamander fears above everything else is... Having to work in an office, sir. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead, Mute. Ridiculous! Now... In the first Harry Potter movie, or not the first one, but in the, uh, I think it was third Harry Potter, um, Prisoner of Azkaban, when they did this, I always, I was under the impression that that was specific for Harry. Your Wi-Fi is bad or mine is? I'm not sure. Sorry. Sorry if mine's bad. I'm actually in Thailand, so sometimes the internet can be pretty rough. Um, <clears throat> but I, I always thought that, um, the guy who did it, the Dementors to help remove the Dementors, I thought, I always assumed that was intentional to teach Harry Potter how to handle them. Not so much. No, what, were they Dementors? All right. Is that better? I don't, it might be on my end. Sorry if it is. I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So I, I, I'm kind of surprised that they're reusing this setup, but it makes sense. Magic blooms only in rare souls. Still, we must sculpt in shadows. What's that, Rockstar? It will be a great movie. The uh, reason I stopped it earlier, I hate that Johnny Depp is in this series. He's just so annoying. I'll get. Let, let me know what you think will be a great movie. I'm going to keep watching this. But the old ways serve us no longer. You've heard the rumors. Grindelwald had a vision. 
that he would rise to dominance over the wizarding world. So you're asking me to help hunt him down? What's been ten? Why don't? I, why doesn't that sound familiar? I, I like. I, for some reason, I'm thinking of Hugo and is it Ren Ten Ten? Is Ben Ten the uh, cartoon with all the green? Uh, powers around him what do you call that like the green energy I've never seen any of the Ben 10 stuff but I trust you you would lie to see another one who would you lie to I feel like you couldn't just lie to someone and they'll give you a Ben 10 movie I think Ben 10 was a bit past my time or after when did Ben 10 come out 2008 so I was 10 I guess I wasn't too old I just I don't know I never saw it yeah I do have kids they might like it I uh I've watched some of the stuff from my childhood with them and the uh they kind of get ruined for me i'm not really not really into rugrats and all that type of stuff anymore i can't move against grindelwald it has to be you was that the mirror that shows you what you want and he wanted johnny depp is that what just happened there he i guess he wants to catch him or he loves him so much because he is <clears throat> according to J.K. Rowling he's he's homosexual and, and they never bring it up in the books but I wonder if he, that is part of the storyline that's why he can't go after him is because they're old boyfriends yeah how'd that go five hour mixer stream what is a mixer stream? Like, are you making music? But yeah, Hugh McGregor and Johnny Depp as a couple seems like a bad choice. In your shoes, I'd probably refuse to. It's late. Good evening, Newt. Oh, come on. You underestimate your talents, Mr. Scamond. Their arrogance is a key to our victory. Muggles are... Yeah, some NBA Live. What, who's your team? Um, that, that fat guy from the first movie? Uh, I don't know why he's back. I also don't know why the American girl is back. I feel like... I wish these franchises would be more okay with letting characters go. Like, it's cool that they have a job and they can act in other movies, but, like, you don't really have to force characters from the first movie back into the second one. Like, it's not an ensemble. This is really more about uh, Newt than anything else. You don't need all these extra characters coming back into the movie. Like, let them go back to London. Let them go back to Hogwarts. Let them, you know, work with Dumbledore. We don't need... I can't even remember their names, but the two Americans coming in. I'm not lesser. Not disposable. You're too good, Newt. You never met a monster you couldn't love. Credence! Mr. Scamander. Do you think Dumbledore will mourn for you? Are you, are you a ghost? No, I'm alive. But I'm an alchemist and therefore immortal. Oh, Nicola Flamel. Jacob Kowalski. Oh, oh. You don't look a day over 375. 
So that guy, that Nicholas guy, he's the guy who made the Philosopher's Stone back in the original. Uh, yeah, in the first movie. He's the one who ended up, he's like 600 years old at that point. It's, it's cool that they're they're doing some world building or maybe more world revealing with this, with going back in time. But, you know, I don't know if you saw Solo, Rockstar. Uh, that stuff gets old really fast. It just always feels ham-fisted and just not not organic. They're just like taking you on a tour of, oh, do you remember this thing from the old movies? Do you remember that thing? And I'd much rather just watch a new story than go back to them doing, uh, you know, just just filler stuff like nostalgia tickling. It's I don't know, it gets old. You're playing a franchise. My team on the franchise is OKC. Who's that? Uh, Oklahoma? No. Oklahoma City? I don't know. I don't know who OKC is. I'm sorry, man. Uh, and you traded some players with KD. I, uh, I've never been a big basketball fan. Much more about baseball. I don't know if it's because you can get up and leave and come back an hour later and still know what's going on, but basketball has always kind of been... Uh, a bit boring yeah man sorry I don't know it's probably on my end of things I am uh, streaming it for put it up on YouTube um, so hopefully hopefully the recordings okay but uh, sorry if the stream is rough it looks like it's good on this end though Everything's green over here. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Fantastic Beast 2. I think it'll be good, but I think it's going to be, you know, too much focus on nostalgia than uh, actually telling a new story. <clears throat>